Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with a weird box opening. Uh, here I bought a, a set of wrenches and why we're doing this is because box openings are cool. Uh, but number two is a great deal. We've got a variety of sockets here. In fact, there are 16 wrenches. Uh, I got them for 20 bucks at my local Napa. So that'd be Woody's Automotive here in Stettler, Alberta. Um, and I'm not sure this is a national promotion. It's just kind of a cool thing. But these Ultra Pro wrenches seem pretty cool. So I've got some other wrenches to kind of compare them to. Um, but I haven't opened it yet. And I'm not sure I'll actually use this container, but it seems like you totally could. Um, I'm going to cut these snaps off. Uh, I don't. The amazing deal is uh, all these wrenches cost 20 bucks, so uh, that's pretty fantastic. And it looks like it's just, yeah, two sets I can kind of hang up. And it looks like there's a, a cut me part there, and it says a cut me part here. So if I cut these. I'm guessing it lets me get to the wrenches. So then, yeah, yeah, I guess if you wanted to, you could display these or just keep them open like that. Um, the variety of sizes it comes in is pretty cool. It's both SAE and metric. So there's 5 16 all the way up to 3 quarter on the uh, SAE side. So here's the 3 quarter. Uh, and then it goes from 8 millimeter to 19 millimeter, which is fairly decent. But wrenches are wrenches. You can get them at well, probably the dollar store. But uh, other wrenches have qualities to them. So if I open this one up, which if I push this tab here, I have some metric Craftsman wrenches here. And I consider Craftsman to be the, the benchmark for wrenches um, just because I don't have an access to snap-on tools or anything like that. I only have access to, you know, at the time, see your stuff. I can't, this won't open very well. So let's cut that. Oh, but uh, here I have a 15 millimeter Craftsman wrench. This came with the kit I bought a long, long time ago. And so if we take out the 15 mil, that's the 14. Yeah, I probably won't keep them in those containers. So here's the Ultra Pro 15 mil, and here's my Craftsman. They're about the same. Actually, the Ultra Pro is a little bit longer, um, uh, but not quite as thick. Um, but the head is about the same size, if not a little thinner. I've never actually broken a wrench on the head unless you're using it for something you're not supposed to. So that's probably great, especially if you're trying to get into, I guess, smaller holes. Um, six point versus 12, my bad. Um, but it looks like we'll have to give it a spin, obviously, and I'll have to do a review in a year or two after I beat the heck out of these. I uh, have another, here's a 5.8, uh, uh, which is going to be about the same size anyway. And once again, it's a little bit longer. The naming of this Craftsman kind of makes it uh, a little bit thicker, but the actual bar itself is just about the same size. Same with the head as well. It's got the toll point. Um, nut or bolt head uh, but so does this one so there you go with that um, i don't know if the 5 8 on the head is better than on the handle i do know that black will be problematic for me because i i'm notorious for setting things down and then looking away and then they walk away on me and it takes forever to find them but uh, for 20 bucks it seemed like a really cool kit from napa napa's convenient too uh, here's a mastercraft it's not the same wrench this is just a, a closed end but uh and this is for a 12 millimeter, so to be comparable, we'll come down to the 12. And really, people only use the 13 or the half inch ones, really, right? That's all I do. And yeah, it's about the same size, so you can put some levering. This one's going to be longer, obviously. But uh, they seem a pretty good quality. They're not scratched up. I don't know if they can be or not, if they're all black through or if it's just a, a shiny coating. It states here that it's from chrome and badmium steel. There's a matte black electro deposition finish, so it will scratch uh, if you get it in the right spot, but that's okay too. But anyway, here's a just kind of a neat overview of the Ultra Pro. Um, if you have any questions on it, feel free to ask. Uh, if not, if you can get a deal on it, pick it up for sure, because like I say, 20 bucks for these, that's amazing. So uh, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them, and you guys have a good day.